Well, hello, folks. We're back. Thought I'd do something a little different. Uh, taking the Tesla up to Running Springs for a weekend glamping trip. So I thought I'd like to share with you guys how the car performs in the snow and the uh, cold weather. I'm really curious how the battery holds up and is able to uh, maintain a charge. So stay tuned here. Reiterate so much space in the Tesla Model Y. If you'll take a look, I mean, we have our dog, firewood. I have a 10 quart Instapot with stew, beef stew, coffee maker, bread. And then we can come to the front. Um, we have all these things, clothes, drinks. I mean, all this stuff is packed in here. And we still have all this room. And this is for the entire weekend, clothes and whatnot. And then the front, look at all this space. So again, very functional. I, I know a lot of folks that actually commented saying that, you know, it's not the prettiest of cars, but for a daily commuter, as far as, as, far as functionality, it's, it's just amazing, hard to beat. All right, so I'll let you guys know how it goes. We're headed to Supercharger now. Folks, Thanks. we're back. We're probably about 10 miles away from our glamping site up here in Running Springs. Car is doing well, it's performing well up here in the mountains. So take a look at all the snow. Luckily, there isn't a whole lot of snow on the ground here. Um, I will tell you the biggest difference driving the Tesla than the gas power cars I've had in this high altitude, there's absolutely no loss in power. And my um, other cars coming up here, the gas power, you, you definitely lose a little bit of power, especially climbing up the hills with this Tesla, so much torque. So that's a nice uh, feature to be able to kind of zip around here. But when we get there, we'll, we'll uh, let you take a look at the cabin and we'll go from there. Okay, take care. Hi folks, we're here at the campsite. We just pulled in. So we're trying to find our cabin here. It's kind of cool to see all the snow on the ground. So we'll continue here in a minute when we uh, get to the cabin. Okay, we just pulled up. So I just parked the car on the side here. Unfortunately, there's a, quite a bit of snow to get down to our cabin right there it's that one right over there and there's so much snow here we need to carry our uh some of our food and backpack and whatnot so it's gorgeous out here I'm just gonna give you guys a quick look around here and we'll see how the uh tesla does here when we leave it here overnight all right we'll report back here we just got to the cabin so here's the interior here's this little small kitchen right here and then we have a very small bathroom, full bathroom, full shower. So it's small, but it'll do. It'll be home for the next couple of days. And the view out here is just spectacular. Highly recommend. And this is the door going outside. <laughs> Look at all the snow that's out here. It's hilarious how much snow is out here. And there's the Tesla, <laughs> all the way up there. I'll show you guys around here. This is the cabin, and this is where we're at. It's beautiful here. All right, to be continued. Little in here. We're gonna prep and make some dinner. We have a little bit of um, we're gonna do a little garlic French bread, some rustic French bread, and we have some Ukraine dill stew that I made this morning and I guess what makes it Ukraine is dill <laughs> it's uh 35 36 degrees outside so it's pretty cold so this would be perfect all right so I highly recommend coming out here uh, essentially we only brought the food the knives the uh, bowls the skillet whatnot that's all included so uh give it a try guys all right Hello everybody, day two of our clamping trip. We just got here to the uh, Lake Arrowhead uh, charging station. We lost, I'm gonna plug it in real quick here. You follow me. It's so easy. We lost about 7% of uh, battery last night being in the cold, but it got down in the 20s in the evening. So we're gonna charge it up back up to 85% see how that goes for this evening and that stay tuned hey day two of our glamping trip here in running springs we just got back from supercharging the tesla 
I took a whopping, I don't know, 15 minutes from 35% all the way to 90%. And it took about uh, 5% getting back here to the cabin. It was only about, about, I don't know, seven to 10 mile drive. So making some lunch, continuation from uh, Ukrainian stew from yesterday. And we're grilling up some salmon. We're gonna cook the salmon outdoors and the fire pit, but it's too cold. <laughs> so uh, to be continued here, it's beautiful out here. Day here clamping or camping <laughs> here in Running Springs. It's about 7 30 in the morning. Just started a fire. Beautiful out here. It's about 33 35 degrees. Um, left the Tesla out last night and I looked this morning. We lost about three percent in battery just by being in the cold, but that's not too bad. So we're gonna enjoy a little bit of coffee, get some breakfast, and um, start packing up. All right, okay, we're leaving the campsite now. Uh, if you notice, we have 75% remaining on the battery life. Yesterday uh, evening when we got home, we parked. It was about 83% remaining uh, over the evening. We woke up 7.30 this morning. It's 80% range, and it is now 10 o'clock, and we're down to 75%. So it's about a 70-mile drive back home, 75 miles. I'll report back uh, how much range uh, we have left by the time we get back home. All right. Hey folks, we made it home. Just a quick note, uh, we used about 20% of battery coming home about 70 miles or so. A lot of that was downhill. And interesting, uh, quick note, the battery stops uh, regenerating after about three or 4% of on the positive gain side. So I was actually gaining battery because we're coming mostly downhill. But uh, also I want to note, man, the car performed well. Um, and then with the PSB maker, maker, the way I was washing it, I mean, it's a little dirty, you can kind of tell, but. Uh, from a distance, I mean, <laughs> it looks great. There's salt on the roads, ice, and uh, you can see a little bit of dirt, so, but not too bad, not too bad. I mean, again, you gotta get up close. Um, with the uh, the way I wash it and with a sealant I put on there, it's really hard for anything to stick on this. And, and I mean, we have some bugs, but not much. Uh, it's not bad at all. Um, car performed well in the snow and ice. There was three times coming downhill, there was some ice I hit, ice patches. This Model Y performed well. Just a quick slide, um, and then it just regained traction. I mean, just for a split second, you did feel it, but uh, just go slow and um, you know keep your distance. But I highly recommend taking this. Um, obviously, I, I you know haven't been in blizzard-like conditions, so you may need change. But for moderate snow and the snow was thawing and some ice, the car did well. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye.